Well, I did skip the line, frankly. Um, you know, but at the same time, I think leading an NBA team for almost two decades is just pretty unique. Um, so while I haven't necessarily learned some of the skills that I'll definitely seek to understand and learn as far as the technical aspects of coaching, you know, I was never far from that, you know. And so to lead a team is such a unique position, to be the head of the of the team on the floor, to think on the fly, to manage personalities and people, skill sets, to bring people together, um, collaborating with a coach and a coaching staff for almost two decades. I mean, it's not... You know, it's not like I was in a, in a vacuum. You know, I learned a, a tremendous amount during my career. Uh, I haven't grinded it out as an assistant coach like many people's path. But there's a precedence for players who have strong careers, uh, who are leaders, thinkers, I think, to, to get this opportunity, um, as Steve Kerr and many other people have, have had to great success. So it's a unique situation, I think. Um, but I definitely realized that I'm going to need support. I'm going to hopefully bring a lot of qualities and skills to the table that are unique or strong, but I'm going to need support and a collaborative staff that, that has a lot of experience and is willing to build this with me. So um, this doesn't in any way begin and end with me, and, and I don't think I have all the answers. Uh, humbly into this position, wanting to learn. I'm naturally inquisitive. Uh, I want to grow as a person. I want to be able to help all the people that I work with grow as people and at the same time build a, a, a basketball team that can t contend. So it's, uh, it's unique. Uh, I understand, you know, that I, 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 you know, I did skip the line in many respects. At the same time, um, there's some experiences there that, that other people just aren't going to have because of the type of career and the length of the career I had.